Hello and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. This one's going to be on extruded cuts. So, as you can see, this was a solid end and I've cut back into it. That's what it looked like before. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. How to put this in here. So, I'm coming to this end. And what I'm going to do is move this because it's right in the way. Put it there. Seems a convenient spot. Right, I'm going to be. I'll click on this because I like this one. Click on there. This is asking for uh, a face or a plane. So just click on the face that you want to sketch on. This is the one. So I want to go to line. So I want to start by. Uh, I'll, I'll start by clicking on here. Click it, click it, don't matter where you chuck these, it can be anywhere. See, I, I've, I've done that as a sketch, it literally is a sketch. So, if possible, I want to. Oh, I can't start that one again. I can make a curl in here. See, what I'd normally do here. I select that origin, but for some reason it didn't make that. I think that's something to do with it. Yeah. So I select the origin of the other end, but that'll do this stuff midpoint. So now this is equal. So click on this line. Hold control, click on this line. I want to make them both vertical, parallel, and equal. Click tick. I always start by doing this because it defines what you're going to do before you add the dimensions. So, like this line, click this line, control, click this line, and parallel. Same for this one. Click the line, control, click this one, parallel. Now that, that is defined, so all I need to do now is dimension it. So 300, let's see, and from here to here, I want it to be the same. Great, so I've got a sketch. So now what I need to do, go to features, go to extruded cut, as you can see. Just try putting one in for me, the other one's shorter, so I'll put 2,000 in. 2 meters, just 2,000 millimeters. There you go, just previewed it. That looks about equal. And I'll click tick. And there you go. Got an extruded cut. Space bar brings this up, go to isometric. There you go. And change the view slightly so you can see. So as you can see, there's two cuts back into that. Change the view back. And you can do a slice through this model. So you can see exactly what you've done. I hope you uh, found something useful from this video. Uh, if you've got any more questions or if you want me to do any more videos, uh, leave your suggestions in the comments box. Uh, I'll do another tutorial soon. Thanks for watching.